For today's green room post, I'm going to try and make it super simple for you to understand how to transpose. If you see a five string bass lesson and you're worried about it and you're worried, how am I going to play this on my four string bass? I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So when we go down to our low B string, which is one string more than the four string bass, this, these four strings right over here are exactly your four string bass. If you take this off or if you actually pull this right over your neck and wear it as a bass strap, you've got a normal four string bass. You have to loosen a little bit unless you really want to play it right up here. But really, honestly, this is the only difference. The string, your B string, is the only difference between a five string bass and a four string bass. The rest of these four strings below are exactly the same as your four string bass. So if you're playing in the key of G, and instead of going up to the C to B to G, if it goes down to your low C, which is on the first fret of the B string, and then up to D, and then up to G again. So if you notice, if you take it from the B right over here and you move two frets over and two strings down, that's exactly the same note, it's just an octave. So you go, there's your C. So if you see me go down to a low C like that on a, on a five string bass, just remember, just move two frets up, two frets down, and two strings down, and it's the same note. So for example, the song Defender, it goes, it goes, hallelujah, you have saved me so much better your way. You can just play it right over here. Hallelujah, you have saved me so much better your way. It's exactly the same pattern. You just moved two frets up and your two strings down. And you, instead of... And they're the same notes. That's how simple it is. Don't overcomplicate it, guys. It's really straightforward and if you're a four string player and you're finding it very hard to adapt to a five string bass just remember instead of going up to your c you can just go down two frets and play your c right over there and start to practice moving around on the low string and it's very straightforward what a fun one guys i'll see you on the next green room post